Hello, hello everybody. We had an amazing trip, eight days in the high Sierras. And we just wanted to take a moment to share that with you and all that happened. And we're gonna try and share eight days in a, just a few minutes. It's really hard because we could talk for hours on this, but I have a list. So let's just begin with the beginning. We've been looking forward to this for two years because we go on this trip with our friends, uh, two other couples, and they also have campers. And we didn't get to go last year because there was a big fire called the Caldor Fire and it was right close to where we camp. So they closed the camp, they closed the road, it was bad. So this year was kind of a long anticipated wait for a fun trip. And for some reason, it just seemed like it was taking forever to get packed up and ready. Yeah. Just seemed like it was taking forever. And um, <clears throat> we had just taken a trip to Blue Lakes. I'll put a video, I'm going to point, like I know where I'm going to put that, of Blue Lakes trip. That was really fun, but just like two weeks before. So we should have been ready. <laughs> it's pretty much the same trip. And um, yet it was taking us forever. So I noticed on a text group with my other friends that they were late. And so we just stopped hurrying and like you took a nap and we just took our time and we wanted to definitely get there before dark. So we got there like, I'd say 30 minutes before sunset mm. and we were the first ones there. <laughs> so that was a shock to be first, even though we took our time and we were very late, but that was fun. It's, we set up our camp and I have to say, this was my favorite setup like we've ever done up there because it was easy it was our first time with yeah. this camper which was so easy no setup to the camper you know it's just so easy uh compared to the hybrid or the pop-up tent trailer that's a lot of work to set up yeah. so this one was easy and it just was comfy it's nice and big we had a really big awning we set up our chairs and it was like people came and sat at our spot we never had that before it was just fun so fun mm -hmm. Um, and one of the things that kind of happened is our grandkids have always come and spent the night and they were looking forward to that, but they are too busy. They've just gotten to that age. So they, they couldn't spend the night. They had functions the next day. Dang it. But we made it really fun because we all had kayaks. So they came up, the whole family, mom and dad too, and we went kayaking for pretty much the whole afternoon. Yeah, that was really fun. That was so fun. So fun. I'm just going to show you a little bit of that. Hello from Silver Lake. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Jamie, you look so enthusiastic. <laughs> He's gonna take a nap. Yes, the camera. Alright, it's on video. So that was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we went back to our camp alone and had uh, just a nice quiet dinner with our friends. Uh, out of the three couples, one couple still had grandkids visiting. And so we had dinner with the other friends and um, it's just nice when the front, when the kids all go home. We love having our kids come up for part of the eight days, but it's nice when the kids all go home because then we can just all be together. But we started up the dominoes right away, and we went out for breakfast in the morning, which is fun. It's kind of one of our um, rituals. We go to the, uh, nice. the lodge at uh, Kit Carson and sit on the deck and have a nice breakfast, a view of the lake. Loved that. Just loved that. So that was a fun day. And then getting back on that day... The reason we book our trip around that day is it's a fundraiser for the um, the local food bank and the whole campground 
has a um, an auction and they do a barbecue and we just we did all of it we did all of it it was so hot <laughs> so hot yeah <clears throat> I'll just show you a little bit of that 150 down here looking for 160 160 150 looking for 160 150 going once 150 going twice and been a we were thinking of just going to church on Sunday and coming straight back, but we had Buster. And um, I thought, well, we can't leave him in the car. We can't leave him at camp. So we went home Saturday night, spent the night, went to church, and then I, we came back and got Buster and went back to camp, and that was nice. Yeah. Nice. I mean, year after year, it's a long trip. We're only an hour from home. I often want to come home, like for a night or two, in the middle. One year it was raining a lot, and all of these are all of these trips are in our uh, playlist for travel, and uh, this year I didn't want to go home at all. Like I just loved being up there. Yeah. I didn't want to go home at all. Okay, let me get back to my list because I've already forgotten what we're going to say next. Every day we played dominoes, the girls. That was so fun. We played Mexican train, and every night we have campfires at one camp, and that is our friends. The husband he makes the best campfires. Uh, he brings a truckload of wood. He does. And it's his thing, man. He has that fire going and we just love it. We all bring our chairs. We sing. We talk. We eat. It's fun. So fun. And um, one of the things is there's just no cell signal up there at all. But there's a tiny little hot spot of internet if you have the code. And we have the code, but it was hard to find a good spot where you had enough to even get an email or a text. And you walk down to the end of our road and found that there was a spot near the hot spot. And so you marked an X in the sand. Yep. You marked an X in the dirt. <laughs> and we were all, I'll be right back. I need to go to the X. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Tell about how you were walking through horse camp and what happened. A um, ATV came by with, uh, and some people stopped and said, hey, Steve. And I, I looked at him. I didn't recognize him right off the bat. It was the parents of a bride that I had shot their wedding at the same place last year. And they said, you know, we got a lot of horse people up here. And, uh, you know, some of them might want a portrait. And, wow, it was great. Uh, for uh, the rest of the week, I, I wound up taking uh, portraits of people and their horses around sunset. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It turned out great. We got some amazing pictures. So Tell about the first lady when you showed her her pictures. Oh, geez, I'm going to cry on that one. I, um... I just I printed out a copy because I had would run down for church to the, to the studio, and um, I handed it to her and she just started crying. So it makes me want to cry. What photos can do. Yeah. So he was he was kind of off and on. So uh, so that first day of horse photography, we'll call it. So we're sitting there playing Mexican Train on Sunday afternoon. And my friend's daughter and husband came up to visit for the afternoon. And we're sitting there, all the girls, just playing Mexican train. And her husband went over to join the guys. And the next thing we know, we look over and walk into horse camp was hubby, his camera, and each one of the guys carrying, like, some piece of photography stand or equipment. And we're Flash, like, yeah. we're just like, that's hilarious. And they were like, he put them to work. <laughs> and they were happy to do it. It's yeah. just kind of an interesting guy thing, I guess. It was so a was, fun diversion. That was fun. Uh, okay. So, one of the things I didn't like is our <clears throat> fridge quit working. We have to figure that out. We do not know at this point why. The freezer seems to work, but the fridge does not seem to work. So, we're going to have to get that repaired. But it just seems like when you have an older trailer, you just have to know things are going to happen that you're going to have to work on. And that's one of them because we love that fridge. But luckily, we had a really good um, ice chest, so we kept all our stuff there. Our My son and his boyfriend came up on Tuesday, and they brought food and goodies and kayaks. So we went kayaking again, and that was super fun, beautiful. And we we're on a different part of the lake than we were with my daughter and fam. So let me just show you a little bit of that. That was so fun. It just makes me want to go kayaking right now. But we had a really good time. They stayed for the campfire and then they went, oh my gosh, these bugs are driving me crazy. They stayed for the campfire, went home. They had to go to work. Um, so the next day we went on our waterfall hike. 
it's just a ritual we love to go up you know we can even drive here from home in the afternoon go on the waterfall hike and come home it's not that far and it's beautiful it's easy it's just got every kind of eco like you go through so many different kinds of um, trees and flowers mm. and definitely a good time to go so we went on the waterfall hike and it was just very disappointing let me just show you a little bit of that hello hello okay this is my friend Virginia hi so we just took our waterfall hike and we're all pretty bummed right now in a really big way anybody want to share thoughts devastation it's so awful how beautiful aspens they just torched the trees yeah. just that devastation it was such a beautiful walk can't tell right here but you know quarter mile down the path so what did you think, Steve? <clears throat> it's sad. Did you expect that? No, I love taking pictures up here and, you know, pretty much most of the areas that have the wildflowers are gone now. All right. Well, we just thought we'd share how sad we are. It's still beautiful up here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> Otherwise, we were walking through black char yeah. and yes. burned up trees. True. Not fun for hiking. No. And even our trail was completely gone. We couldn't even find our trail. That's to right. get to the water. Show what you got. I picked up a rock. I take rocks everywhere I go oh, as a souvenir home. And I, our Sioux friend, she didn't come. She wasn't able to come, so oh. I brought her some flowers. A few wildflowers found. Nice. Very cool. like them. All right. Bye. Bye. See these fire trees right there? How close it came to our hike. There's the trail right there. There's our hike, there's the water, there's our trail, there's Buster, and look right there, burnt trees. That's how close the fire came. Wow, look at that. Still a lot of aspens left though. Well, fire got to this point. This was probably the most beautiful grove on the hike right here of aspen. That's just so sad. I just feel like crying just looking at it. We still have aspens over here, but nothing like that grove. That was so. It did cross to the other side, though, back in. Beautiful. And if you look this way, it's not so sad. So we were so sad. Our waterfall hike burned up. Burned up. Yep. And we'll have to find new hikes. This is not coming back in our lifetime. Nope. That was a really devastating fire and you just hope for little pockets that were saved like our campground was saved so you know you hope but the waterfall hike is no more yeah um so we came home and we're just trying to get every last minute of fun into this trip so we did the waterfall hike which was supposed to be fun and then we went kayaking in the afternoon and it was so peaceful and beautiful and let me just show you a little bit of that So we're down to our last campfire. It was fun, it was happy. We got up in the morning and we all packed and we're out of there. And it was just great. I mean, yeah, it was just great. I, My takeaway is I was relaxed and enjoying myself and we got a lot of fun in. I love the kayaking. Um, let's do more of that. That is Definitely. so fun. Definitely. Anything else? I, I did all the talking. Uh, no, I, I would say it was probably the most relaxed, enjoyable camp we've had up there forever. So that, that's been good. I think it's the trailer. Yeah. It was just so comfortable. The trailer we were comfortable. Out. And there were just so many things about it that were just so easy, you know, mm -hmm. nice and big. You can fix food in the kitchen. It was just nice. And it was nice too, because uh, even though it was pretty warm in, in the valley, it was, it was not bad up there, but it was still warm. So you could go out and you know, paddle around on the lake and not mm -hmm. be cold. So yeah. That was great. And the pillow chairs, of course, are a hit every year. Uh, yeah. If you haven't seen the pillow chairs, um, they're pretty fabulous. And yeah. 
both my girlfriends want to make them. So we'll probably have a pillow chair making party. Have fun. Well, you do have fun sitting in it. I do have fun sitting in them. You true. can't make fun of them because that's your favorite uh, thing. I never made fun of the pillow chairs. <laughs> you do like them. I love the pillow chairs. He's always in it. That's so it. until our next trip, I just want to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little uh, trip up to the mountains. And we'll see you next time. If you're new to my channel, I do talk about sewing and life on Fridays. And trailer stuff sometimes in between. And just a little bit of everything. So hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up if you like this video. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.